Give thanks and praise to Kalamari, Isla Celestia. Love and blessings, Mungo Isaac. Yes, sir, I give It's good to be here. It's yes, good sir. to reason. Because with reasoning, I and I gain more strength in this time. Just want to reason with you a little about your tradition as a youth coming up. Yes. Your life and a few little things, you know, that you can share. Yes. What town or city were you born in? And describe your childhood home as it was. Well, I born at Granville, in Granville District. Mount, around three, three, three and a half miles from Montego Bay. See? Yes. And me alone was the one that my mother had. And she said, this is the one before me. And I and him died, died in youthful days. But my mother now, it takes my uncle, his brother, daughter, mm -hmm. and go also. So I go with that sister. What's her name? Ida Hagney. Okay. But she died when she was only 80 years old. Oh, so long liver. Yes, yeah, so that was the only sister I would say then. I see from my mother's side, mm -hmm. which I have seen no according to relation, would be my first cousin. Okay. Yes. No one from your father's side? Yes, but my father now. I know, I did know one brother, brother right? Mm -hmm. And died with cancer, prostate cancer. Lately, when he was around 80 hard. Mm -hmm. And I have a sister that is full on me from my father's side, named Daphne. Okay. Right? Who died with a womb cancer. Wow, so can, few, cancer running years, a family then? Yes, a few years ago. And I, our next sister, which was Rasta, named Sister Jenny, did have fibers. Wow. Fibroid it in our home and chew and keep it long mm -hmm. as Rasta in those days. We never hardly go to doctor. Yes, Rasta don't go to doctor. No. And it, it, it is there till it becomes cancerous. Wow. And she died with it. Mm. Our next sister in America, who helped her well. Seen. See, before she resigned now, but per venture, I believe my mom, she's around Cynthia now. Mm -hmm. and What's she, her name? Well, well, the name of her, I don't remember the name right now. Two story was so far away from her. And she's not, she, you are older than her, right? Yes, but she has breast cancer. Oh, okay. I learned that it's one breast in her. Wow. So one did cut her. All right, going back to your childhood, did you have pets? Any, any special animal, bird? Yes. I always be a one that go to the hills and catch ball plate birds. Yes. And go over Irving and catch lapwing. At the time over Irving, mm -hmm. you know, with a government farm. Mm -hmm. And then they plant several acres of gungo. Okay. So the, the lapwing them come down and eat the gungo. See. So we always set caravan up in the, the gungo have to catch them. So when you catch them, what do you do with them? I raise them. Oh. And I raise them, but I never love to eat them because I, I never love the taste of the bird flesh. See, in see. those youthful days. See. So I raise them till some of them fly away and so on. You give them any name? Well, I did have the lapwing bird. Mm, what were you call? Lapwing, or call them white wing. Okay. And we have the bald plate, mm -hmm. the big black one, and see. then you know, they make like them head white. Okay. That have a, a, a heavy cooing when they are cooing. Mm -hmm. And I will speed up to our next Oh, so a lot of birds then, man. Yes, I'm a big cuba bird. So what did you enjoy doing as a child? What was your favorite activity? Well, my favorite activity was one we call Proven to your hobby then. Mm -hmm. Yes, a hobby. Yes, I have those birds and I feel good to have them. Yes. And as you know, I and I, as you play chase in those days, mm -hmm. we have a ball round down Bottom Road. See. Where we go and we play chase and run down one another. What do you call Chubby Chase? Chubby Chase, man. Yeah, that's no about Chubby Chase. Yes. <laughs> All in a rain. See. We get running and we sleep one another. Mm -hmm. And we play cricket. Okay. But football was not so popular in those days. Very good. But cricket was popular. Did you attend church or any religious services? Well, the two to sleep. I never attend church. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you an instant. When it turns Christmas Eve now, we always go a month to be a night time. Okay. We walk around. So my mother said I must go to church. Well, we are night night. Or no, Christmas Eve service. Christmas Eve service. Okay. So I have to go. 
But you know, I feel a company and I don't go. Oh, you never love church? No, I just walk around the place and go and march and the, the buy screens mm -hmm. in the Albert Market down at Sam Sharp Square. Mm -hmm. And you bust them and walk yeah, around you know, and you know, see nice enough. Happy times. Yes, never drinking no more mm -hmm. beer in those days. Mm -hmm. You know, we just feel nice, eat and drink, you know. So you never get any beaten from your mother? Yes, but not so much. Okay. You know, most of them will get beaten from my mm. mother again, you know. You know, all you, you know, the red sugar days. Oh, eat so all the sugar pan? the red sugar from me. <laughs> Sometimes he eat a pan and he hang up in the car to walk and mm. be fine. What? And take out liquor and kind of set it back that enough and mix it up and miss it. Use your finger take it out? Or no, use spoon? No, take a spoon and take out it. But you always have a mark on it. <laughs> so she know when I take out it and say, why you want here? But she is the one him, him love me till he give me a sort of different pet name. Okay, tell me your pet name My then. My mother just called me now Bob Samuel the Squire. Why? Isaac the Squire, she in love me now and they put me up in a cage at Rems. Oh, you know? Squire is an important man. Yes, the Squire was an important man in mm. those days. Mm -hmm. And he called me Marsize. Okay. Was my pet name. Oh, good. So no, no one when he named the car the Mars I just said, oh, oh, this woman had the car to say the pit name on Mars Eyes. Because it's a big man name, you know? Yes. But, you know, she honor me. See him. See him good. Yes, that's when I become now who I am mm -hmm. as a raster man and when they hang the money out, you know, when they buy and sell. Mm -hmm. And beloved one, believe me, being the flock of me, and look at myself and see my mother, they don't know, see man the way you do, man, and love me. Okay. <coughs> and I don't see her, that I could have give her, I could have take her and look after her. So the other question is, describe your your parents then. Who were your, what were your parents like? Well, and gran also grandparents. <coughs> I never come and see a grandmother. Okay. Even from my father's side, from mm -hmm. my father came from St. Elizabeth. Okay. In, in, in a compound town area. Is a maroon? Yes, but in the live out a union. But there was a maroon people. So you have maroon blood then? Yes. Okay. True, true. <coughs> but I, I don't know, but I know my father. Mm -hmm. you, you're born and see him? Yes. And I always visit him holiday time. Up in Tang River, dear. So, what skills your father had? What he do for a living? Then, in the farming, and he's a man always used to be charged by the of 10 acre of crown land in Jericho. Oh. So, he cut down the cut lumber. lumber, you know, and sell it. Okay, you, you ever help him cut any lumber? No, but I go in the hill when I go up on holiday and go up there now, the place in a Jericho full of mosquito. Mosquito? So, we have, we have two smoke pan, <laughs> like the paint pan there. Yes. We have all a girl and a pain mm -hmm. between one. So we have two of them up there. Okay. To put around me from me. We have to sit down there. Are you fan smoke? Yes, I'm fan with the, the smoke and that's the mosquito keeper. Yes, them, yes, yes. You know. Ah, uh, who were some of your friends that you grew up with? Well, I did have many friends. Did your parents like them? Yes, my mother loved my friend them in a way. Love them from Muxi. That is brother Muxi when just live around. I had a three to four train up there from her. See? So they come and get the all the while. Mm -hmm. You know, my mother did there, my mother never rushed them for real to actually neighbor. Oh, good. Yes, and one named Neville Eugent again. He was neighbor. Any of them still alive? Well, you know, uh, Mooks is the last one who did them. Brother Seal. Brother Seal. You know, Seal. You know so me and not so much a mm -hmm. great friend. Mm -hmm. But in those days, them father keep them away and say, come back. Isaac, they are Muxi, Percy boy, them. Okay. You know? But we, we, we play, we, we, we play we, we youth game. So, so, a, a marble bell. So, as the youth growing up, do you get into any trouble? Any mischief making, anything like that? No, I never get myself in no trouble if I never move. And in those days, you know, I am. We, we go on a discipline. Oh. For I couldn't use a word that is bad, I'll do my mother. No curse words? No. And I can pass my elders them and do some morning. Or good evening. Or good evening. Mm -hmm. If I pass one for me always at the dance you pass Grandma Elsie. See. That is a old lady, you know, one of the senior age of Yeah. And when you look around me, say, boy, where are you doing? See one boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> Let me put me on here and bless you. Okay. And then let me go. I say, no, Grandma Elsie, I don't pass me that many dad, man. 
and then put me and say, God bless you, my son. Same. Uh, one son. I say, give thanks, Grandma. Mm -hmm. You know? So I was loved by the, in my community where I did live with, near the Rocky Falls, in Grand Same. I loved, loved by the elders, they run the family, where money is up. Oh, okay. I'm money is child. Yeah. Same, same, same. Okay, what, what some of the things you do around the house? You know, you used to love to do basic chores. What were your yeah. duties? My duty in the yard you now, especially when I was in the barn, I work. I, I will you know, pick coffee for we did have a few root of coffee. Okay, good. Two three of coffee, so I help me only the sweet coffee mm -hmm. and pick up the rat cut coffee them and sun them. What do you mean by rat cut coffee? Coffee, you know when the coffee they ride, mm -hmm. the rat them climb the tree and hide. Oh. And eat some and cut off some and then drop a ground. Okay. Yeah, drop a ground the veers. So where do we do it? So we pick it up now on Sunday. Oh. And we sell it at this man on Bambani Street. And we saw him where we have the, the coffee place there where we sell Trimenta. Mm hmm. We know about and that. And coffee. Place. Yes. You know, on the Bambani Street there. Right where they did rent of, of the bank there. Yes. Okay. So we don't market there for stick. Yes, yes. So NCB Bank, don't no? Yeah. All right. We know that. Very good. Uh. Give me an idea of your first job. When you get an adult, what did you do for a first job? Well, I always mail they did send me a trade. What kind of trade? It was the first trade that I got was cabinet. You like it? Called woodwork. I never so much love it. Mm -hmm. But after all, in okay. front of me on Barney Street here. Mm -hmm. And after I left there, then down the market there now, Albert Market, mm -hmm. they did have the Paris Council, did have a place there, the Capinta, the, the Woodwork Man World. Okay, from big so workshop. Best, yes, I started to tell me for a new lady, Gabby, you know. Mm -hmm. I did, you know, and. Get some um, practice. Yes, and get a practice and make some little strainer. Strainer? And then give me for them, go sell some, and make some for myself too. <laughs> you know, and go sell it. You do have the counseling? Yes, and get me the counseling from the side. Mm -hmm. So I was. Uh, you know, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. So you're like an apprentice with that and you yes. get you and come up with it. That, no, my old lady said I'm going to learn Mason. You like Mason? Then I did love it, but you know, the man that I when to learn the trade is never angry me for. Okay. As a youth, when I tell me to go to Bluefield, clear West Milan, mm -hmm. in those days, my old lady gave me 10 shillings. That was plenty money? Yes, in those days, I'm going to pay me for it and go. We are a, 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 a best man in the world. And we, we go near this place at this town you know, when you left. Going you know, the wall if a fish come up there. When you have the wall if a fish there. Oh, okay. Me know when you have the flood. Yes. June flood. Yeah, me know. So when we go on there now, we go buy the line and so on. And we mm -hmm. fishing around the area when the bass man mm -hmm. come up. See. But one of the time now, they rape the wall. From the screen, because mm. the screen, mm -hmm. you get the, the line. Yes. You know, how oh, you, oh, you dug a rock yeah, man, the wall. Yeah, man, okay, prepare the wall. Yes. And between the rake and my hand, you know, when young and mm -hmm. me and slip off of the, the screen, and you know, the man get his big boot and camp me in my head. Oh, no. And so, well, the boy. Abuse me? Yes, abuse me. And through that, no, him come down, and me did have him still. And when him come down now, mm -hmm. one of the week, and me up, you know, the foreman give me a little work. Okay. Some exhibition. Mm -hmm. And they put in some little piece of black. Yes, okay. You know, I stand by me and see me there as apprentice. Mm, are you learning? Yes, I'm learning. And when him come up back now, me come there and I'm making him come there. You don't go back? Oh, no, I don't go back for any while. Don't take me and I don't tell me earlier. Do oh, you walk off of the job, don't you? I walk off of the job. All right. Uh... What day did you set up Rastafari? Well, 19... 1950... 1953. Okay. That's and over 50, yes, 65 years. Yes, yeah. I was a comed Rasta man. Okay. For seven years after I come ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm developed now. Ah! Here they are! Rastafari! 